Hi, everybody. Brian Norcross here. Big and interesting developments today in the world of forecasting hurricanes for hurricane season 2025. Google is out with a new specially designed artificial intelligence AI model, or they call it a machine learning model, just for hurricanes, for tropical storms and hurricanes. The way it works is they took the weather data going back to the 1980 range, and they took the tropical cyclone or tropical storm and hurricane data and put them together in the same model. And they did some special things within that model to create this new, very accurate model based on past storms. I had a little role in this. They asked me to be an advisor on the project and to evaluate it as it went. And I can tell you, it was incredible to see how fast the changes can be made in artificial intelligence that could not be made in these very, very complex models that we have depended on, the Euro and the GFS and the other ones are called physics-based models with big, long equations and take a lot of computer power to run. These can be changed quickly and they can try new things. And boy, have they done that here through the spring as I've been watching it. And it's been extraordinarily impressive to see how this thing has come together. The National Hurricane Center is going to use it for the first time. They're going to have an AI model as part of the things they look at. They're going to look in parallel to the traditional uh, information, and then they can evaluate these things in real time as the storms actually happen, as opposed to just looking at the past storms, uh, which of course we can do right now. In fact, let me just show you what this weather lab, as they're calling it, uh, looks like. And we'll start with Hurricane Otis from 2023. If you recall, this devastated Acapulco when it came ashore, and it kind of came ashore unexpectedly. It was one of the worst forecasts in recent memory, as a matter of fact, in terms of having a terrible outcome and not having a lot of warning. Well, here it was on the day that it became Tropical Storm Otis. At the time, the typical models that we rely on had it up here offshore of Acapulco and dying out. And the official forecast actually had it down to a tropical depression, never got above tropical storm strength. So the black line, that's exactly what happened. The blue line is the, uh, the new Google model. You see there is uh, in general agreement. So a difference in this model and the way the old models work, if you look at online and whatnot, you notice the old lines all put out a single line. And, and then there are these things called ensembles where they run a bunch of them and you get this kind of fan. Well, the, the Google model does it the opposite way. They run the fan, and then they find the average of that, and they use that fan to determine, well, how, how uh, um, certain is this forecast? Is it a wide fan, kind of uncertain, or is it a narrow fan? In this case, you notice it's a pretty narrow fan for the most part. There are a few possibilities that are quite extreme, but a pretty narrow fan, and it takes it right toward Acapulco. And when you look over here, this is the wind speed. And look at this. There's what happened. It went all the way up to Category 5, uh, oh, uh, above 150 knots. These are in knots, so you have to multiply by 1.15 to get the miles per hour, but whatever. Category 5. And notice that the Google model indicated the possibility up near Category 4, so the possibility of a strong storm. Now, so this would clue forecasters into the Hurricane Center that we need to pay more attention to this because all the other models are showing tropical depression or dying out. So th this is a, a big advance to be able to have this kind of information here. Now, let's take a look at one from last year. Here's Helene, and here's another thing that this new weather lab uh, can do. Here you see that it actually produces a cone. Now, uh, it is important to say this is all experimental. So this is not something that's going to replace what we're doing. But this is a dynamic cone that gets wider if there is more uncertainty. It gets narrower if it's more certain. Notice this is very narrow. It was quite certain. It was going up into this area, this Big Bend area, still close to Tallahassee. And you can see the blue and the black line up almost exactly 
the same. The, the forecast was quite good. Here you look at the intensities and notice they're right in line. So the, uh, the AI model, the Google AI model, this experimental model uh, forecast that very well. And now let's look at one more because I'm going to show you one that was not quite so perfect. Still a, a fine forecast, but not quite so perfect. Here is Milton. And this is, again, way back when Milton was just developing here. And you can see where it actually went. It did the zigzaggy track. Of course, it ended up being a Category 5 down in here. And then it came up just to the south of Tampa near the Sarasota area. Well, the blue, if you look at the blue here, it's a little bit farther north, a little bit different. But, but in the end, it's a little closer to Tampa than it ended up but similar to what the traditional models were. And notice when we look at the wind speeds here, the uh, AI model did not pick up this big peak right here where it got up to Category 5, but it did have the idea of the second peak in here. So it's not perfect. Like I said, it's experimental, and it's changing all the time. They are continuing uh, to work on it. It's, uh, it's quite a project. The team there at Google DeepMind in in uh, London has uh, made this a, a high priority for this hurricane season. And uh, this is really going to be the first hurricane season that we're going to be able to compare how this specially made uh, AI model for tropical systems is going to compare with the traditional ways of doing it. And it'll just be part of the mix. Uh, if this kind of success continues uh, in real time this hurricane season, it's going to be an important part of our forecasting and of course I'll be looking at it and mentioning it in the information that we put out as we compare it with the uh, traditional ways. So interesting uh, big day in, uh, in hurricane forecasting world uh, both for us and for the National Hurricane Center and uh, now it's available to you if you want to look at it. It's kind of technical as you can see but you're, you're welcome to look at it. I'm going to give you here the URL. I'm sure it'll be distributed around. It's DeepMind dot google dot com slash good <laughs> divine dot google dot com let me just bring it up here to be sure i'm telling you the right thing uh slash science slash weather lab deep mind dot google dot com slash science slash weather lab all right so uh, enjoy you can go back and look at past hurricanes and and see how it did versus the uh, actual tracks and uh We'll uh, see you as we go here with more of this hurricane season. Nothing going on in the Atlantic right now and nothing for the foreseeable future. So it looks like a good June. Take care.